Hi guys, currently I am using Kali Linux on my system, but there is a problem. Kali Linux is installed on my entire desk, and now I want to dual boot Kali Linux with Windows. But the issue is I am not able to create new partition because the root partition is taking up the entire space. So if you are stuck in a similar situation, don't worry. I will show you how to resize or extend root partition on Kali or any other Linux distribution you are using. So let's get started and fix this. First open any browser and search for gbarted iso. Click on the first website that appear. Once you are on the gbarted website, scroll down to find the download option. Alright, here is the download button. Just grab the gbarted iso and save it to your computer. This tool is essential for resizing partitions safely and efficiently. So gparted is not downloaded. We need to create a bootable USB drive using ISO. First connect your USB drive with your computer and right click on the ISO file. Now hover on open with option and here search for a uh, disk with writer. Here it is simply select it. So if your Linux distribution uh, doesn't support disk image writer, don't worry you can use any other tool uh, for USB creation like Balenicher or Rufus for Windows. Now in the destination section, select your connected USB drive. This process will delete all the data on your drive. Once selected, click on start restoring. And the process should take few minutes, so wait for it. So our USB is now become bootable. It's time to restart the system and boot into USB. To do this, first shut down your computer and then boot into the boot menu. Uh, so guys, the keys to access boot menu varies device by device. It's usually F12, escape or delete. Once you are in the boot menu, you should see your USB drive listed. Simply select it and hit enter. Now your system will boot from the USB drive and you will be taken to gparted interface. Let's move forward with resizing the root partition. Now it is asking for the language. Uh, default is English, just hit enter. Again, you can keep the default setting, just hit enter to continue. Now we are successfully booted into gparted and we are ready to resize our root partition safely. First select a drive uh, you want to resize from here. Once selected, right click on the root partition and from the menu choose resize or move option. Now in the new size field, you can adjust the partition size. Increase or decrease the space based on your needs. Make sure to leave enough space for the root partition to function properly. Once you are satisfied with the new size, click on resize button to create an allocated partition. So here is our new unallocated partition. But before we proceed, we need to save our changes. So click on green uh, check mark to apply the changes. So new partition is created from the root partition. Let's close the parted and then click on exit. Here select shutdown to power off the system. After the system shutdown, turn it back into your Linux to confirm the changes. So I am back on my Kali. Let me open gparted. And there we go. As you can see root partition has been resized correctly. And we have extra space available for creating a new partition or installing windows alongside Kali. If everything looks good, you are all set. You are successfully resized the root partition without losing any data and you are ready to dual boot your system. So that is for today's tutorial. I hope you found it useful. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you in the next one. This is Jarvis signing off.